Hello, welcome back if you've been around for a while or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm gonna run through a couple of random things that I did this Sunday to set myself up for a successful week and to get March off to a successful start. Um, the first is a grocery haul and then I set up Ani's um, table bins that you've seen before and last but not least, I refilled Lauda's self-care basket. So let's get into that. First up was the grocery haul. If you remember, we have recently, within the last two weeks, survived what I call Texas snowpocalypse. And our grocery stores here are still not fully restocked. I had an entire meal plan worked out for this week. And as I was at the store and went to a second store, I realized I needed to rework it on the fly. So, so my meal plan for the week is not exactly as I intended. I think we're going to end up eating a lot of our frozen veggies and frozen fake meat products that we have in the freezer, which is fine. That's why they're there. Um, and have stuff like, you know, spaghetti. I, we, what we call my Riri special. It's usually some sort of soup that the next day turns into like a thick pasta dish because the pasta absorbs the broth. We'll probably have some sort of Tex-Mex casserole. I bought hot dogs. At any rate, as I was shopping, I was having to just rework our meal plan in my mind. So I'm not entirely sure where this week will go meal-wise, but I know that we have enough to eat. We'll definitely make it through the week. I found everything that we need to get by. I was able to restock on a lot of staples, even if they're not the brands or types that we normally get, that's fine. And as I think I talk about in the clip, I got out of the store at $86.50 which is pretty good. And then after rebates, it was closer to about $81. So let's look at the haul right now. All right, well, weekly grocery haul time. I went to two different stores. Still couldn't find everything that we needed. However, on everything you see here, plus a seven pound bag of dog food for biscuit, I spent $86.50 before rebates through Ibotta and Fetch. After those, I probably spent about $81 even. Um, but let's jump into what we got. So. I got a half gallon of milk. There were not many in stock, so I'm happy that I found that. Some pretzel twists. This was the only type of bread I could find at REB, um, was the whole grain white. I don't think we've ever tried this, but we'll give it a shot. Um, I had to get the fancy sausage rolls for hot dogs. Um, because they weren't fully stocked, I was adjusting our meal plan on the fly, so I swapped out a ravioli bake for hot dogs one night. I did get some tortillas, got Lauda's mini Cokes. I like keeping these on hand for situations just like the other week when we lost power because they're easy, quick, and filling. I got Ani some yogurt. They didn't have any of the big tubs of yogurt, but these will work. I got chocolate hummus and garlic hummus to have with the pretzels and maybe the chocolate hummus with some fruit. I got this for an easy lunch for Lauda, easy lunch for Ani. These were both on Ibotta, and Lauda really likes the scent of this, and this is her preferred lotion. I got these for Lauda to take to work in case she gets hungry before lunch any day. Again, I like to keep these on hand because they're quick and easy, particularly if there's some sort of emergency. I got an onion, apples, some grapes, a couple potatoes, the last bag of peppers at either of the stores I went to, some celery sticks, carrots. Um, if I gotten lunch meat at the second store i could have had more of a choice but this was all they had at the first store so i know lauda will like it i'm not so sure about ani i got some shredded cheese just because we're totally out i got these for ani to have for a snack this was the only ibuprofen heb had and we're totally out so i went ahead and got it i got some green bananas for later in the week and some yellow bananas to have sooner rather than later I did get a few pouches for Ani just because I couldn't find all the snack stuff I wanted to get her. Um, and that's it. So again, I got all this and a seven pound dog, seven pound bag of dog food for Biscuit for $86.50 before rebates and about $81 after. Okay, so as you can see there, we're definitely not going without. I'm gonna have to get a little creative with my cooking, but that's totally fine. The only thing I'm a little bummed about is None of the stores I went to had any, and this is definitely a first world problem, so I don't mean to be too whiny about it, but the sweetened carbonated sparkling water that I really like, none of the stores had it. I can do without it. It's not that big of a deal. I like plain water, um, and I think we actually have some 
crystal light type drink powders to put in if I get desperate. So it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I mean, as I was talking about there, a lot of this stuff isn't necessarily what I set out to buy, but we'll make it work. We'll be happy, we'll be fed, it's all good. So in the next clip, I wanna show you the three table bins I'm gonna set out for Ani this week. I don't always redo them week to week, but recently she's been getting bored if I don't change them up. So just as a refresher, these are bins that I set on the table in the playroom for her to do without me helping at all. Um, she can play with them however she wants. Granted, when I put a new activity out, I usually model once or twice how I see it going. But after that, she can play with it however she wants. So a lot of these are like matching, puzzles, that type of thing. So these are the three that I set out for this week. Okay, the last thing I want to get ready for the week are Ani's table bins. First up is another matching one. So we have an elephant, a giraffe, a bear, a cow, and a rabbit. I can't find her realistic rabbit, but that'll work. Um, or should I say we have Conejo, elefante, oso, la vaca, la jarafa. These puzzle pieces are actually to a phonics set, and it's supposed to have the matching letter down here. She's not quite ready for letter matching yet, so I thought we would just match the puzzle animals to the real animals. So It's an activity she can do by herself. Next up, she can definitely handle alone, and that is color matching. She can do it a couple different ways. There are two colors of each of these flashcards. Sometimes there are different shades. She's gotten very good at matching shades. And I just found these at the Dollar Tree. It is supposed to make like a happy birthday banner. I just didn't use the string, and she can lay these out and match the colors to that. And then last but not least, she asked for this last week repeatedly, so I thought this week I would just set it out and get around her needing to ask for it. And it's just the jungle puzzle. You've seen this before. It is a favorite of hers. She particularly likes to play with the monkey and the tiger, even not on the puzzle. So that'll sit out, and those will be her table activities for the week. And I might actually end up adding some kind of activity. I just haven't thought of it yet. I found these dice that I bought a while ago. She really likes numbers, as I'm sure you've tired of me saying by now. Um, but I think she'll like these dice. So even if I don't lay them out in a table activity, I think she and I will utilize these in some sort of play this week. Um, and then last but not least, the other thing I need to do is restock Lauda's self-care bin. You can probably tell it's full up. That is because this is actually after I stocked it. So let me show you what I put in it. So now I'm ready to load up Lauda's self-care basket. As you can see, she still has her coloring book her crayons, a pack of snacks from last week, I think, a few shower fizzies, some masks, and then these hair masks. I think I've said before, she's not great at doing um, self-care when it's like hygiene related normally, because by the time she's ready to shower, it's just like she needs to get it in and done. So at any rate, I got her some more snacks of the reasonably healthy variety. I mean, they're not whole foods by any imagination, but they're healthier than some other junk food. Um, I found this cute little notebook at Dollar Tree and I thought she would like it. I also found these Post-it Notes Extreme. I know these are weird things to put in a self-care basket, but I've said before, Lauda is obsessed with notebooks and pens, so it does bring her joy to get those things new. I got these felt tip pens from the Dollar Tree. I do do this weekly. Um, some weeks I buy things, some, some weeks I just use what we have here on hand. Another snack. And then I'm going to add this back scratcher. She always gets an itchy back when she's tutoring. I'm gonna put this candle back in just because it smells nice and calming. And then I'm going to loan her some of my fidget toys. So I have here a stretchy monkey noodle that's just tied in a knot. I have some Aaron's, Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. And then, I don't even know what these things are called. It's just a marble and a mesh sleeve. But I think she'll like using these when she's tutoring or when she's stressed out back here doing work after hours. So that is what is in her self-care kit for this week. So as you can see there, Lauda should be good to go with all of the self-care activities she needs. I use this basket primarily for self-care here in the room. She tutors a lot after she gets home from work 
and she does work here at home after she leaves school for the day. That's a lot going on, so it's easiest to just have some stuff set up back here, already ready for her. She can grab it while she's working. She doesn't have to come out, and she's good to go. Um, All right, and then while I'm sitting back here, I've decided to go ahead and get a treasure chest full of things for when we're ready to toilet train Ani. I'm just gonna buy them one or two at a time, here or there as I'm at the Dollar Tree or see good deals. But I'm gonna put this put them in this toy treasure chest. She actually got this last year from my sister for her birthday and it came with a whole bunch of really fun toys. She played with this for a very long time and just recently it's kind of fallen out of favor so I'm gonna go ahead and use it as the potty reward treasure chest. First thing I got was just this pack of cheap dinosaur toys from the Dollar Tree. She doesn't have very many dinosaur toys but she's starting to really like them. Um, as I've said a million times before she really likes any figurine but I have a feeling that dinos will be a hit and I'm gonna go ahead and open them and just pour them in so if you're interested I will say these aren't particularly realistic looking she's not overly concerned about that um, I just liked the fact that there were multiples in a pack so it would make for multiple rewards oh wow this guy's foot uh, I think he needs to see a veterinarian um, but at any rate, we're going to give her these kind of rewards. At least that's the plan for toilet training instead of food. We'll see how long that lasts. You never know. I might end up adding some little treats in here. And then even though she has no idea what, um, Paw Patrol is, the Dollar Tree had these. I've seen a c different people bring them home in hauls and I thought she'd like them. I am going to go ahead and open them up. She has no idea what a blind box is and I can tell you already she's not going to be curious about what's in here however if she sees the actual dog she'll get excited and want it so it's just the different ones in case you wanted to keep track of which ones you got again she's never watched Paw Patrol so she won't care about that particular part of it she got oh they're cute they're like the fur is fuzzy she got whoever this one is uh Zuma so she got a Zuma and let's hope this one is not a Zuma. Although honestly, she does not care when she has multiples of the same toy. She tends to just keep them in different rooms. All right, so she has Zuma and <laughs> ah, Zuma. That's all right, like I said. Um, I might switch it up and put this one in her Easter basket and leave one in there, but for now I'm just gonna put them in here. So that's the start to her potty training treasure chest. But yeah, my self-care bin, I haven't showed in a while. It's the same stuff. It's the same sketchbook, markers, coloring book, colored pencils, word search, all of that good stuff. I think I've talked about it before. I only have the bin just because I was a little jealous of her bin. I'm pretty good about doing self-care routine, particularly meditation, reading, things that I enjoy that really relax me and put me in a positive mental frame of mind. Um, so I don't fuss about my bin as much, whereas Lauda's much more likely to engage in things if they're here, set up, and ready for her to use where she needs them. So yeah, at any rate, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you have a great week. Hopefully March gets off to a great start, and we will see you next time. Bye.